Hello everyone, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a day video as a vegan. Today's video I'm going to be featuring once again some high protein vegan recipes and I'm so excited to share these with you guys because they are so delicious and also quite healthy. So in order to help me make some high protein delicious vegan meals, I'm using lots of products from iHerb who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. So I'm going to be going through in this video details about everything I ate and also show you guys how I made everything but if you want the written recipes for anything in this video I will link a blog post down below they might be in several blog posts we'll see but I will link something down below which will give you the written recipes and instructions in case you don't want to watch me in this video but um, you should watch me anyways because I don't know visuals I don't know I prefer visual recipes rather than written recipes I don't know about you guys but anyways it's here for you but also the written recipe is also here for you as always if you guys have never heard of iHerb, they're an online store that specializes in natural products. They have over 30,000 natural products on their website and they ship to over 150 countries. They have so many different vegan options, of course, otherwise I wouldn't be promoting them. Okay, they have so many vegan options and they even have a vegan specialty store where you can find all of their vegan options and again, like I said, they have lots and lots. So I've been using iHerb for many, many, many years now and I'm so excited to be collaborating with them again so that I can show you guys this awesome place to shop. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about IRA before we get started. So their orders are shipped from climate control distribution centers to make sure that their products are of very good quality and I can speak from personal experience. I've never had any issues with their products. The quality is always top notch. But if you have any issues at all, they do have customer service 24 hours a day, seven days a week in 10 different languages. As I mentioned earlier, they ship to over 150 countries worldwide and even though I live in Canada, I've never had any issues with shipping because they give you detailed information about each shipping method that you can choose from. In this video, I will be using a bunch of products from iHerb and of course, every product I use from iHerb will be linked down below so you can check them out. And of course, if you are looking for somewhere online that you can shop where you buy a bunch of vegan friendly items, then do not look any further. Check out iHerb, link is below my friends. Trust me, it is a great place to shop. I highly recommend it. So thank you so much to iHerb for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with what I ate in a day. Yeah, okay, let's go. For breakfast, I wanted to make some protein pancakes. And if you did not know, protein pancakes are pancakes that are high in protein. Surprise, surprise, I know. I wanted to make ones that don't contain white flour so that they are healthier. And of course, we're gonna add some additional protein. And I think I have the perfect recipe, guys. Here we go. So this is super easy. All you need is a blender or a food processor, and we are going to add in all of the ingredients together. First, we are adding half a cup of unsweetened almond milk, then half a ripe banana. Make sure you peel it, of course, duh. Mm -hmm. Next ingredient is going to be half a cup oat flour. I got this one from iHerb, and this is a great alternative to regular flour. Alternatively, you could use regular oats, but you may have to add a little bit more to do that. Next, I'm going to add in one scoop of vanilla protein powder. I'm using this one by Garden of Life. This is a brand that I really like, so that is what I'm using. And then next part is optional, but since I love peanut butter, I decided to add in two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. I'm using this one by PB2, and of course I got that from iHerb as well. I'm going to add in another two tablespoons of almond milk as well. You can use regular peanut butter if you wish, or just omit this step altogether if you don't want to add peanut butter. Lastly, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of baking powder and then we're just going to blend this all up make sure it is blended until completely smooth and once we have that pancake batter we are going to heat a non-stick pan on medium-high heat and I'm going to add a small amount of vegan butter you could use coconut oil or any other vegetable oil if you prefer then we are going to pour the batter and let this cook on each side for about two to three minutes until nice and golden I totally didn't film the pancake flip which is the best part so I'm a little sad about that but it's okay I topped my pancakes with some blueberries and I also made a little side of breakfast sausages. These are vegan breakfast sausages. I don't know why, I just love having something savory with a sweet thing. Then of course, I topped my pancakes with some maple syrup and that was my protein pancake breakfast. Super yummy and also quite healthy and delicious. Did I say yummy and delicious at the same sentence? I think so. 
After breakfast, I decided to soak some dry garbanzo beans, aka chickpeas, so I could have some later. I'm using this one by Bob's Red Mill, which you can find on iHerb, and I'm just going to soak it in plenty of water for a few hours while I go about my day. I did some work after breakfast, then I decided to go to the gym, guys, to do some lifting. So before I went, I mixed up some vegan-friendly BCAAs, which stands for Branched Chain Amino Acids, with some water. I've been using this one that I got from iHerb, which is vegan-friendly, and it comes in a huge tub, which I love. BCAAs are supposed to be really good for strength training, and they're supposed to help with muscle growth and exercise performance, as well as reduce muscle soreness and aid with post-workout recovery. I mean, all of that sounds great to me guys so I drank this mixture during my workout for lunch since it was a gorgeous day outside I thought I would make myself a nice vegan egg salad sandwich I feel like a nice cold sandwich is so good on a sunny day it's just a perfect lunch for the summer so this is similar to my eggless egg salad recipe that you can find in my cheap lazy vegan ebook which I will link down below instead of using eggs we will be using tofu which is a great replacement for eggs in a plant-based diet first thing you want to do is cut up the silken tofu i'm using silken tofu that i got from iherb and because i'm using silken tofu which is very very soft tofu i'm not going to mash it up right away because it might become too mushy and that's not what i want so i'm using one block of silken tofu and i'm just going to cut it up into small cubes just like this then gently place the pieces on top of a paper towel which will soak up some of the mixture or some of the moisture i should say while we prepare everything else Next, I'm going to dice half a stalk of celery, and you can use a food processor to dice, or you can just use a knife as I'm using here. After that, in a big bowl, we're going to just add the diced celery along with two tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then we are going to mix that well together. Then we can add in the tofu and mix it well. The silken tofu will break a little bit, but that's okay. It kind of looks better that way anyway, I think. Kind of replicates the egg salad look a little bit more. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of pepper to taste, and that's pretty much it. Give it a taste, guys, and see if you want to add anything else, but most likely you'll be blown away at the deliciousness. It is so good, you guys. Trust me. I decided to make an open-faced sandwich, so I toasted up two pieces of bread, then I put the tofu salad on on top then I added some avocado slices and a little bit more black pepper and along with my open face sandwich I had a little salad on the side this was just a little leftover taco salad that I made the day before and I topped it with a creamy avocado dressing I decided to eat my lunch out on the balcony because it was such a beautiful day outside it was so so nice all right it is now time for dinner as i mentioned earlier i soaked up some dry chickpeas for about three hours before i started preparing dinner i normally would try and soak the beans overnight of course but i completely forgot as usual so i wanted to try cooking some dry beans in a rice cooker along with some rice so in my rice cooker i added two cups of short grain brown rice and i filled up the water to three cups to add more water for the chickpeas so i drained the water from the chickpeas and then i just added it into the rice cooker as well and then I cooked it with the normal rice setting and while my rice was cooking I decided to make some garlic teriyaki lentils ooh la la doesn't that sound delicious so first I heated up about one teaspoon of oil on a pan a medium high heat then I added about two to three cloves of minced garlic then I quickly rinsed up some red split lentils and yes I'm using these ones that I got from iHerb and red split lentils are great because they cook super quickly and they're great great source of protein they're really delicious and also really really versatile so I added one cup of these lentils in the pan along with two cups of water for seasoning I'm keeping it super simple I'm using this teriyaki coconut aminos from iHerb and coconut aminos if you don't know is a kind of seasoning that is kind of like a sweeter soy sauce and this one is more of a teriyaki flavor so you can also use soy sauce instead if you don't have this and maybe add a little sweetener in there like sugar or maple syrup or something like that if you would prefer 
I like using coconut aminos from time to time because they already have a sweetness to them so I don't need to add any additional sweetener which I enjoy. So I added 2 tablespoons of coconut aminos along with 1 tablespoon of rice vinegar. If you'd like you can use apple cider vinegar instead or just skip the vinegar part but it adds a nice flavor so I would recommend it. And then we're just going to mix everything really well. And then I basically turned up the heat and brought the mixture to a boil and when it came to a boil I turned it down to a low heat and covered it up to allow it to simmer and cook. Make sure you stir it around once in a while so it doesn't start sticking to the bottom. And I cooked this for about 20 to 25 minutes until all the water was absorbed and the lentils were cooked. I feel like my uh, stove is quite weak which is probably why it took longer than I expected but no problem. I decided to remove the lid about halfway through while stirring it once in a while. I decided to also make some sides along with my meal, so I had a bunch of spinach and I also had some mushrooms. So I rinsed the spinach and I sliced the mushrooms and then on a pan on medium high heat, I heated up a little bit of vegan butter and I added some minced garlic and then I added the mushrooms as well. So it dried up a little bit, so I added just a little splash of water and I allowed the mushrooms to cook for a couple of minutes and then I added the spinach and covered it up to let the spinach cook and wilt and I added a splash of lemon juice because apparently Apparently, vitamin C helps enhance iron absorption. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. So apparently you're supposed to eat like spinach with like, you know, citrusy fruits or something like that. So yeah, it helps really enhance that iron absorption in your body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we can add a little bit of salt and then there we have our spinach and mushroom side dish. At this point, your rice should be also finished and I wasn't sure if the chickpeas would actually cook in the rice cooker properly since I only soaked them for about 3 hours. But yay, it worked out and it was cooked perfectly! And now it is time to plate. Even though this is a super simple and affordable dish, I wanted to try and make it look kind of fancy. Mm -hmm, you know me. So I am not sure if I succeeded. <laughs> but I started with adding the spinach and mushroom mixture on the bottom and then I topped that with the garlic teriyaki lentil which by the way were bomb mm -hmm. then I added one cup of rice on the side uh, well the rice and chickpea mixture and I probably should have just left that nice little cup shape but I don't know why I decided to break it up anyways it doesn't really matter at least it all still tastes the same then we are just going to crack a little bit of black pepper on top and there you have a beautiful delicious and healthy whole foods plant-based dinner this might look super simple guys but again the lentils were so flavorful and really really delicious even though we only use two different things for seasonings anyways i highly recommend trying this out it was so delicious All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for what I ate in a day, high protein vegan recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. If you did, let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts were. And of course, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe, of course. And I would like to once again thank our sponsor, iHerb. And uh, if you guys want to show them some love, check out their website. Link is down below. They have so, so, so many vegan friendly items to choose from. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!